On June 16, 2022, a Cessna aircraft was substantially damaged when it was involved in an accident near Austin, Texas, and the pilot was seriously injured. The pilot reported that shortly after takeoff, he experienced smoke in the cockpit and wanted to return to the airport. However, the amount of smoke continued to increase and the engine stopped producing power. The pilot opened the side windows and located a lake below him into which he ditched the airplane. Remember, 554, runway one, left, line of way, traffic, shot, climb off, funnel. Very good, sir. Just make sure our numbers are correct. Station air 52854, line of left, echo. And station air 82554, no? Correction, sir. 52854. Eight tower, southwest 2652, uh, visual 18 right. Station air 854, turn right heading 240, caution break turbulence, depart airbus, from way, way left, clear for takeoff. Very good, sir. 824 is the bridge. Watch the lake. 854 is on the roll. 18 left. Tower 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, American 533 Austin departure, radar contact line maintain 12,000. Line maintain 12,000, American 533. American uh, 533, turn right direct payday. Right turn directly to payday, American 533. Station area 52854, contact departure 119.0 if you're still up. Station area 54, contact departure 119.0. 52854, Austin. Hey, 54, go ahead, sir. Yeah, 52854 is in here, checked on, but uh, maintain VFR, out to your discretion, proceed on course, Rusty Allen. Hey, 54, sir, so we'll be heading to uh, uh, 40 X ray Sierra here temporarily, 854. Okay, then uh, here, proceed direct to breakaway. 854. Austin departure, United 571, ride 2.2, before 1000, heading 190. United 571, Austin departure, radar contact, climb maintain 12,000. Climb maintain 12,000, United 571. On Jet 1 Tango Sierra, turn right heading 310, the Austin Airport, 11 o'clock, 10 miles. 310, I'm not in the airport, it's that one, Tango Sierra. 7 1 Tango Sierra, clear visual approach, runway 13, contact the San Marcos Tower 16.82. Clear visual 13, going to Tower 1 Tango Sierra, thanks for your help. Center 24 Alpha Shark, contact Houston Center 134.2. 134.2, 24 Alpha Shark. United 571, turn right direct payday. Right turn, direct payday, United 571. Austin Approach, Austin Approach, Station 854, uh, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. I can smoke in the cockpit, request direct to Austin Brooks from Airport. 52854, okay, you need to make an emergency landing here at Austin. 854, permanent. Okay, uh, 854, then uh, turn, if you're able to, turn right heading of uh, 080. 5 turn 080, 854. Maybe it's uh, 710 Austin Towers, give me a few minutes for emergency inbound to the right side. Departure 219 Tango X-ray uh, 1800 for uh, 3500 210. 219 Tango X-ray Austin departure radar contact. 52854, are you able to give me fuel and salt on board? 854, I have uh, almost zero visibility, one person on board, and three, uh, and two hours of fuel port. Okay, 854, I'm showing you at 1600. Are you able to climb a little bit just for the altitude? And I'm sending you off for runway 18 right. All right, sir, I'm heading uh, 0, 6, 0 right now. I can barely see inside this cockpit. And, uh, and uh, when you want me to heading 0, zero? Okay, if you can barely see, that's fine. Just uh, stay, uh, keep your wings level and just fly your present heading right now. 854, okay, so yeah, we got side windows open now. My visibility is improved. I don't know what's going on here, but I got a real problem. American 533, contact Houston Center 134.2. 342, American uh, 533. 854, I got really high engine uh, temperature, really high all temperature this time, sir. Okay, the airport is right now is 1 o'clock and about 4 miles. Do you have, are you able to see it inside at all? 854, we're looking for, uh, not quite yet. Okay, right now your altitude looks like it's pretty good. The uh, minimum vectoring altitude in the area is about 2,005, which is continue your heading right now, and I'll have I'll point out the airport to you in just a moment. You're about four miles from the airport. Hey, Pop, we're just a little bit of visibility now. We're looking. American 533, contact Houston Center 134.2. United 
United 571, contact Youth Center 134.2. 342, United uh, 571. 21 Tango X ray, climb your discretion. 219 Tango X ray, climb your discretion, proceed on course. Uh, I'll suit my discretion on course, Niner Tango X ray. 5254, if you want to continue the heading, I'll turn you over onto final if, you, if you're able to see. 354, sorry, I'm going to turn my hands to the clip. Miles. Oh, far my way. 5254, okay, um, are you still unable to see anything out of your window? Negative, sir. Okay, roger that. And right, if uh, it says 5284, low altitude alert, show you 1,300, can you climb a little bit? Under zero inches, sir. Oh, I can't see where I'm going. I'm okay. in the building. 52854, there. The interstate highway is just uh, just off your left side, a little bit off to your left, about 11 o'clock. Are you able to see the interstate highway? I'm going to have to get in the water here, sir. 354, uh, I'm showing, is there any way you can start climbing? Okay, we're getting, uh, we're going to get fire services ready for you right now. There are 52854, radar contact loss, about three miles northwest of the Austin airport. Approach, Niner Tango X-ray, is that Decker Lake? Niner Tango X-ray, the aircraft just went down at, uh, looks like Ladybird Lake, about three miles northwest of the airport. Uh, we're on route. Oscar Marker, one two off, two off, one nine eight, five nine five 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 nine. All other aircraft, uh, just to stand by one thing, we have an emergency uh, air aircraft. So it's 9.2 on the lakes with Yankees. Uh, 2023. Just uh, for now, hold off on a second. We in, we just had an, Ameri uh, an emergency, probably uh, an aircraft go down uh, northwest of the airport. We'll keep you advised. That's 2023. Southwest 2023. Austin, approach you up on me. We're with you. Yeah, Southwest 2023 is up. Southwest 2023. Things you expect uh, 18 right. Expect 18 right. Southwest 2823. Austin, 93537 X-ray, we're out of 5,500 uh, descend into uh, the Bronco. Number 35, three, approach, Austin, Tinder is a 3006. 3006, 376. Southwest 2023, approach on uh, 125.32, 2532. 2532, what's it? Approach, 9 or 10, Mike, sir. 9 10, Mike, sir, Austin. Yes, sir, was that uh, last contact, was that uh, Lady Bird near downtown, or kind of was it still west of 35? Let's see, I just got in, sir. From where he is, looks like it was just west of 35 along the lake, so it looks like maybe about a half mile to a mile west of I-35 on the uh, river over there. Okay, we're scanning. Thanks, sir. Cessna 48333, Austin Approach, Austin Centers 3006, and Mike is current at San Marcos. No, your squawk is fine. I'll give you all 3006, and then uh, Mike is current at San Marcos. Approach. And Mooney 3537 X-ray, contact San Antonio approach on uh, 127 point, actually make that a 128.05, 128.05. No, 537 X-ray, so long. 219 Tango X-ray approach. 219 Tango X-ray, go ahead. Uh, we've located it, it's uh, maybe uh, a little ways from the shore and uh, about where you described. Okay, thanks sir. Yeah, it looks like we got a helicopter down there and I guess it looks like he's on the uh, shore. What was the last part you said though? Yeah, the location, the location you had was right about half mile from uh, 35. Okay, thank you. A total loss of engine power due to an engine fire that resulted from failure of the turbocharger exhaust clamp, which allowed hot exhaust gases to damage other vital engine components. Post-accident examination revealed that the V-band clamp securing the turbocharger exhaust fractured and allowed hot exhaust gas to blow over the accessory section of the engine. The hot exhaust gases caused damage to several components, resulting in a fire and total loss of engine power. After the investigation, the Federal Aviation Administration recommended detailed inspections of V-band exhaust couplings be performed at 100-hour intervals. The accident occurred on the first flight following a 100-hours inspection that indicated an examination of the exhaust system. The investigation did not determine the total time in service of the clamp or whether a specific examination of the V-band clamp was accomplished.